Hey Aquarius, thank you guys so much for joining me here for your reading. This is going to be a multiverse read and what we're going to do is tap into other fractals of self that are living lives simultaneously along your own, okay, that are coexisting in other universes within this multiverse that you feel like is your dream life, okay, and we're going to tap into really, um, <laughs> we're going to tap into advice that that version of self wants to give you so that you can align your actions accordingly and be like a Jedi on this space-time continuum and really just make decisions now that can allow you to align yourself with that desired outcome okay with that desired timeline this could be a concept an idea an epiphany that you receive through this reading but it's really going to be advice from that fractal of self where you're really successful in one area of your life maybe you feel like you've entered into your dream job maybe there's some kind of dream partnership whatever this is we're going to go ahead and tap into your other fractals of self right some of you this is even going to go as far to uh you know fractals that are living lives on other galactic um planetary star systems right and it's like the advice that your higher self has for you but we're almost going to do an oversoul reading where it's like your higher self is giving you advice in this reading and in, in regards to like the action that you need to take in the now okay so let's go and see what's going on with aquarius <sighs> okay let's see all right, let's see how this version of self sees you, okay? Let's see how this version of self sees you. I'm being told to take a look at the astrological uh, cards, so let's see. Let's see how this version of self sees Aquarius, okay? Let's just get an energy signature. Okay, so they see you as making a decision during this time with Eclipse in Gemini and Sun in Cancer in regards to... Uh, stepping outside of your comfort zone in some way okay so this could be you guys um intellectually trying to kind of adapt like mentally adapting to uh, some type of um emotional foundation that's changing your life some of you it's like your mind has got so used to being in certain environments or conditions um or connections that you have a lot of history with with sun and cancer and they see with somebody that's about to step outside of their comfort zone because it's left them feeling unfulfilled and they also see you and they want you to know this other version of self wants you to know that you're, there's no more room to grow in your comfort zone so it's almost like you're faced at a crossroads right a fork in the road where your mind is a garden of forking paths and every decision you make creates a branch in the universe and they want you to know that in these other universes that you can go to within the multiverse as you exit away from your comfort zone it's like it opens up a million other doors for you there's something around that work diligently towards your goals sun and capricorn it's going to help you when it comes to leveling up in your career in some way okay so we'll see how this is being clarified right now but yeah, we've got the moon and we have Mercury, which is double Thoth energy as well. So there's something about you being able to transcend your current conditions, okay, through the mind. There's something about transcending space and time through your mind. Like allow your imagination to soar beyond what it is that you've been very accustomed to. Like a life that you've been, there's something about like conditioned, like a life that you've been very conditioned to. Some of you, this is going to be a very healing process they want you to know, okay, it's going to be very healing um there's something around uh as well you're never gonna fully like it's a bittersweet energy because you're never really gonna be able to change the past right and everything that's kind of got you to this realization around right the past is no longer a viable option of like moving forward a past way of doing things and navigating the world is no longer gonna serve me but there's something about you being able to inspire and also like heal others through this realization that you're having there's something about the wisdom that you can impart or share um to others as you lead by example okay we have virgo so there's something around something being able to cross pollinate right this person's like planting seeds that they're going to be able to reap and there's something about other people being able to benefit off of the steps that you guys are taking and some of you even could be like ancestrally like you guys stepping into your power it benefiting your own healing journey and in turn um some of you are like involuntarily there's something around that like um pulling forward your generational lineage and you may not even be aware of that so some of you it's like your ancestors are going to be able to heal through you even though it could hurt you in the process is almost like you know they're thanking you that's the kind of vibe that i get and that's going to open up a whole new realm of possibilities because you're not going to be vibrationally held down, okay, by like dense traumas 
that you've inherited from them even if this is like within your psyche right there's something around that okay let's go and see what's going on with the tarot all right i want to see that was the energetic signature all right how do how does this version see aquarius right now how do you see aquarius right now and i'm connecting to the fractal self that you feel like is in alignment with your highest expression okay So, uh, you know, technically we're quantum jumping right now so that you can make quantum leaps moving forward. How they see you as the three of wands so they see you as somebody that is in between the worlds and there's something about the worlds that await you you don't even realize the worlds that await you they want you to realize that you need to awaken to all the things that your imagination can do this is the law of resonance so like you guys are emitting a frequency into the quantum field and the quantum field is bringing you back into something that's in resonance um do we want to go down that rabbit hole i don't know but we have the judgment your soul's calling you to step onto a new path a new way of being again the path behind this person the old paradigm is no longer a viable option and there's something that you guys are cultivating in the higher realms they want you to know that some of you are quantum entangling okay you're entangling quantum entangling thoughts with this version of self some of you are coming up with ideas or concepts that they want you to act on or initiate okay this is going to bring in some kind of opportunity um there's something around that like an opportunity will come up and even an idea is an opportunity that's what they want you to know during this time like you're connecting with that version of self that you deem as being like super happy or successful right um or accomplished in a certain area of life but there's something about they're accomplished because they realize that they have that infinite potential within them all along like it's all that you already are you don't need to get there to be something that you'd rather be it's not outside of yourself it's inside of yourself it's all here now right it's like everything happening everywhere all at once. You can tap into that that reality. You can live in that frame vibrationally, okay, with a lot of resonance here. And with your intellect has got you so far, but it will also take you no further, okay, so far. There's something around that, like your intuition is guiding you forward on a path, okay? <sighs> And it's being anchored into this experience but allow your soul to like guide you there there's something about like your navigation system like your internal navigation system with the with the judgment some of you again they've been giving you there's like quantum entanglement that's happened when it comes to thoughts like thoughts have quantum entangled with this version of self and they've been trying to reach out to you and send you like an idea a concept an epiphany but with judgment it could have been something that you've also been like ignoring in some way and the call is getting louder and louder to the point that you can no longer ignore it right um it's pluto energy so it's your psyche the psyche is the intersect between the soul the over soul right and also the anatomical body the vessel that the soul is seated in and it's like your soul right your psyche has been connecting to the vessel that you're in to take action right and that's all going to be through feeling and something that you're feeling you need to act on with whatever this is they want you to act on it don't wait there's something about like don't wait it's a visionary goal that you guys have something about getting started yeah we have the the devil here as well there's something about your self-limiting beliefs will keep you always feeling in between worlds something that feels so far in the material realm but in your mind it's so close that you can taste it okay and they want you to transcend the fetters of the night right it's like they want you to trans transcend um your current limitations and know that the thinking consciousness can expand beyond the limitations of the anatomical body right the devil is set energy so it's the physical realm it's the third dimensional realm that he's limited to because that will keep you on a plane of consciousness that is hell that feels like 
again something's not possible they want you to seek the esoteric knowledge that lies within you to realize that you have to go on an internal journey when it comes to how you view yourself how when it comes to how you view your potential right there's some kind of like infinite sea of possibilities that literally await this person they just have to be able to vibrationally align so that it can appear beneath their feet or in their lap suddenly the opportunities will come you know there's something about knowing that like abundance is your birthright remember that that's what they want you to know and you are attracting and manifesting material and spiritual wealth right and the the hermit knows about spiritual wealth right there's something around that right that's how they see you like you're still overcoming the limitations of the mind or you feel like you're the mind has limitations yeah this is about advancement and career success okay progression in your other life goals that you want to set for yourself but there's something about taking action and you no longer being a prisoner of your mind right like acting on it yeah some of you this could be a hobby that you're wanting to advance in and turn into some kind of career okay um this could even be entrepreneurship with a full card that's the second message around that okay but the fool is about taking a calculated risk, okay? Some kind of calculated risk. It's a leap of faith. They're saying if you can't bet on yourself, then what are you doing? You know, there's something around that. Like, if you're not willing to bet on yourself, it's not possible. The first thing is that you need to be able to bet on yourself. You need to be able to trust yourself. You need to be able to believe in yourself. This person is being called to step out on faith faith is a verb it's not a noun faith is be sure of what it is that they want and certain of what it is that they cannot see yet right this person has to believe in order to be able to see it they can't just see and then choose to believe and faith is a verb right not a noun so it requires action and follow through so you need to follow through with faith to bring it outside of a, the realm of just possibilities and dreams into reality you have to take action because this person's setting out an intention right but their self-limiting beliefs in themselves is stopping them from taking action and intention without action is nothing intention needs to be supported and backed up by action so whoever it is that's out of alignment right because the devil causes a disharmony it causes a divorce between your belief systems right and your actions you need to align your belief systems and your actions and your values the things that you want and the things that you do need to be fully in alignment this is about everyday life and decisions that you make do you feel like you're aligning yourself actually that is in resonance with your highest expression what do you do that as a contradiction to that where do you sleep on your own potential where are you not tapping into your full potential all right, let's see what uh, this version of self wants to say. Ace of Cups, we have the King of Coins and the High Priestess here. So you really see this desired outcome. Some of you, it's a creative opportunity and something that's going to bring you some kind of emotional fulfillment. It's like, again, through forms of divination, it's like you're receiving foresight during this time, even tarot, right? It's like you're receiving a glimpse into your destiny before it unfolds. So some of you, it's like, you're receiving this message, even for your higher self, they want you to create sacred space between you and your higher self. Okay, let's see what this is for this new beginning. see what this ace of cups is this could be the birth of, an, of a new conception ideal enterprise with a stalk okay some type of new beginning we have the nine of swords so mars and gemini we also have the three of wands in the four card yeah some of you you feel like this is reckless like there's something about you overthinking every possible way that a new beginning could go for you right and taking a, a leap of faith on yourself you need to walk the way and the way will unfold right this is about following your heart's desires and allowing the universe to reveal its secrets to you in regards to the how and and the when you know um you just need to know the where you want to go and the why you want to go right that's what they want you to know 
with the moon this is about overcoming the limits and restrictions of your own mind right transcending the physical experience right transcending space and time navigating away into the multiverse you know some of you there could be even like psychic dreams with the moon and the uh, high priestess like your subconscious even through like deep meditation there's something around the thoughts that you're quantum entangling with will come through to you it will be the epiphany that you need uh again mars and gemini the three of wands some of you have been overthinking taking action towards like a new beginning that you feel like is going to be super emotionally fulfilling for you it could be a creative opportunity even if you create this for yourself in some way there's something about cultivating the experience and walking the way that you want to be remembered right but this is about leading by example right and being set, setting that example for yourself you know but again, a lot of you, this is an entrepreneurship, like something that you want to be able to take that leap of faith on, something that you want to be able to cultivate for yourself with a full card. It's like you outthink your way of something or like you question your own ability with Mars and Gemini. It's like your mind has been entertaining timelines of everything that could go wrong instead of everything that could go right your mind is the garden your thoughts are seeds you can grow flowers or you can grow weeds what do you want to pay attention to because where attention goes energy flows they want you to feed your thoughts consciously towards timelines that are in alignment with your highest good right okay this is going to be messages from your guides that are coming through Yeah. Once you overcome the limitations and restrictions of the mind, there's some kind of success that you don't see coming here. This is public recognition. This is about overcoming the limitations, okay, of the third dimension and transcending into infinite realms of possibility, right? Not being afraid to take inspired action and being excited about the unknown. They want you to be excited about the unknown. the biggest challenge you're going to face is yourself there's something about that like the biggest challenge that you have to face is not externally it's the internal battle some of you again it's like having the strength to take action towards cultivating a talent gift score ability it's something that you want to be able to master some of you it's mastering the self like mastering the self again like a lack of mindset we have the ace of wands some of you it's like lack of passion in an area of your life of your life like lack of passion that you have for yourself they want you to get passionate about yourself and your own journey during this time mars and aries so that you can be at home in regards to where you're going right mars and aries is in its domicile something that you naturally feel like you can manifest they want you to think smarter instead of feeling like you have to work hard in regards to this there's something about like simplifying the process but again five of coins ace of wands like there's new beginnings that have so much potential for growth you just have to focus on that again your mind both card right with the moon can transcend the distractions of the self-limiting beliefs or the fear right this is saying have fear but do it anyway to be fearless is to still have fear but to be less of that fear right there's something about being free of that fear being free allow the mind to be free from the fetters of the night right which is about your unconscious thoughts and not allowing that to cause some kind of debris in your field like clear yourself from the unconscious thoughts that no longer serve you right the self-limiting beliefs because you can overcome that you can transcend that that is just an illusion with the moon Yeah, Ace of Swords. They want you to have clear cut clarity on the why and the where you want to go, not the how and the when it's going to happen. That's something very specific, right? Especially when it comes to something that you're passionate about. Like, some of you need to have more play on this. Like, you, you've lost the art of, like, enjoying the journey like enjoying the ride we 
with go the distance which is literally you guys going the distance in some kind of area of your life okay and we have fork in the road like is an old way of navigating life a viable option to get to where it is that you want to go right all right 47 so endurance strength and the long haul so this is standing the test of time during this time. Um, the protection message is basically feeling like nothing is happening, okay, in the in the physical realm and forgetting that you're built to sustain the harsh conditions that you may feel like you're, you're going through in the physical realm during this time. And this is saying that the mind can escape its current conditions. You can be a prisoner of your own mind with the eight of swords. That's what this represents, right? And it's almost like, Anyone that's doing a lot of time in the prison of their own mind can overcome that by allowing the mind to transcend space and time and their current conditions, right? And they feed into a new frame vibrationally. They're saying even under your current set of circumstances, you can still allow the imagination and the thinking consciousness to expand beyond, right, that linear path and actually choose to focus on the success. This is about daydreaming about your success. They want you to be able to daydream and fall in love with the version of yourself that you wanna be, connect with that version, and then almost like go back in time and see how you need to align your actions accordingly in the now, right? Because there is a way out, right? There is a way out of the limitations of the mind. And this will allow you to kind of be brave enough to step into the unknown, right? Despite not, knowing how this may unfold right knowing that the universe is always working in your favor so it will always unfold in your favor so you are learning how to conserve your strength and um again a temporary conditions so this is focusing on why you want to expend your energy listen to the call of your soul because it will never lead you astray right this is an important time for letting go of what's not important and again a lot of you it's almost like just limiting belief systems maybe even like conditions or people that tried to instill doubt on you you know and try to keep you stuck in some way all right let's see what awaits aquarius with some kippers with community okay so 11th house energy there could be something about new um opportunities coming in this could be even like new love connections or the opportunity to do what it is that you love through the people that you'll be meeting i feel like a lot of you this is community and even like the spiritual realm this thing about you guys getting really acquainted with again other versions of self again this is also where the cosmos grants you wishes 11th house energy some of you need to go out there and socialize and network there's something about like networking that will be really important wealthy man is about abundant investor okay maybe you guys are going to be that businessman who will be connecting with one but this is about um someone in high, high places that are going to be talking to you with community something about again like your name being mentioned again lovers people falling in love with your talent gifts, skills or abilities uh people loving your potential there's something around that like people yeah they'll be bringing something in yeah message of concern something unexpected there's something about people talking about you something that you're doing again some kind of hard work that's being recognized I'm hearing like don't underestimate who may be watching right we have child as well which is all about new beginnings child is also fifth house element so this could be a creative project it could be a creative hobby um it could be something that you love doing that allows you to tap into the inner child aspect of yourself where you feel like you're just able to play you know and there's something about just doing what it is that you love and you'll, the right people will gravitate towards you aquarius there's something around that and fifth house is also about taking chances and gambling right so this is about betting on yourself so some of you it's like don't underestimate who is watching there's something around that even the story i'm hearing tied to the creator for some reason um like I don't know if that's him. Let me see. Wait. Tyler's a tile maker, roof worker. Role was to mold clay into shapes and lay them on frames and make structured roofs. Roofs was also about your highest plane of consciousness. As again, some of you are like building your way up to the highest plane of consciousness. Hold on. Uh, he emerged on the internet as the leader of a co-founder of a music collective, Odd Future. 
some of you again it's like an odd future energy and something became a hit there's something around that okay he began his career his music career began on the internet and would eventually take off from there so some of you um he which he used to socialize he used myspace profile to socialize with other artists so there's something around again this could happen even online with 11th house energy that could be on social media for you guys where you're going to be discovered because again I'm, I'm hearing like don't underestimate who may be watching you okay it could be something that you guys post online the lovers the message of concern again some something that comes through that's going to be really divinely guided with the doves there on the lovers right it's something that's going to be divinely orchestrated for you again like a sudden message that you guys receive something that's unexpected because you took a chance on yourself or even somebody wanting to take a chance on you right and bet on you and then we have house at the base so that's going to lead to big moves okay that's how this may unfold for you so aquarius we're going to go ahead and love and leave you right there um i'm going to go ahead and close out with a spirit guide message and see what comes through for you some of you could be into music we have let go flow time to let go stop overthinking meditation helps okay so meditation helps let go flow master manifesto congratulations you made it everything is possible always know that you can all right so tapping into your infant potential anyway aquarius i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading um should we get a timing oracle see if anything specific comes up and then i'll go ahead and close out if you guys have been here you already know the vibes right <laughs> okay let's see for my aquarius's you're February, so this could be around your solar return. I'm hearing that you guys get discovered, okay? So this could be, you could be a February Aquarius. You could be in your season. Something comes rushing in in February though, okay? So pay attention to that. Anyway, I love you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this reading as well. If you're not already subscribed to this, to this channel and want to stick around for future you can consider subscribing. Personal reading details, details are also down below. Forgive me, it's thought and shadow, Mercury shadow, clearly, okay? Um, but yes, I wish you guys the very best of luck. Until next time, bye.